Hey everybody, today we're going to put humbucker covers on these pickups here. So these pickups, they came from Amazon. Uh, they are just called Open Face Zebra Humbuckers. Pretty simple. They're not branded on Amazon and they're like less than $15. They had very, very high reviews. Uh, they claim to be high output. Uh, people are very happy with them. They have ceramic magnets. And I got the zebra ones just because I like the way they look. Even though I'm going to cover them, I'll know that there's a secret zebra power underneath. So we're going to install these covers today, and then I'm going to use these in our next video next week when we customize my Les Paul 100. So let's go ahead and get started with the things we need to get this job done. Okay, to do this, you're going to need, obviously, your humbucker, humbucker cover. You're going to need some uh, painter's tape, masking tape. You're going to need some quick seal, uh, some sort of uh, silicone caulk or silicone seal that comes in a tube like this. You're going to need your soldering iron and you're going to need some solder. So let's talk about what this is. So in the case with most uh, Gibson style humbuckers, they're going to come, if they come in a pair like this or if you've already got them on your guitar, typically um, the neck is going to be 50 millimeters and the bridge is going to be 52 millimeters. So when you order your covers, make sure you get 50-52. Just measure your humbucker pole distances to get that. So the first thing that you do when you get your covers is you want to line it up and just make sure that it lines up. In this case, you'll see that it does. And if you're doing both of them, take your other one and it should line up as well. And as you can see there, it does in fact line up. So we know that we have the sizes correct. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get your tape, peel off enough. Let's see, that's going to be too long, so I'm going to split it in half lengthwise. And apply your adhesive silicone to the tape directly. And then when you put this on, it'll adhere to this cover and when you if you wanted to cut the cover off and take it off the silicone wouldn't be on your bobbin or your magnet it would only be on this tape and you can just peel the tape off uh, the reason that you add the silicone if you have experienced this before you'll know what I'm talking about a lot of times with covered humbuckers you'll get a really horrible squealing sound a very microphonic sound effectively what that is is since this is metal if it's not secured on there very well when you play the guitar, it'll rattle a little bit. And when it rattles, the magnets are picking up the rattling of the cover and causing feedback. Um, and it just sounds absolutely horrible. So what you do is you add some of this to the tape here. And then when you squish this down, it sticks in place and it won't vibrate nearly as much. So the next thing that you do, once you've got that, um, the tape on there you take your uh, quick seal and you blot a little bit of it on to the tape and you don't want to go crazy with this stuff because you don't want it to overflow and get on the plastic so you just want to do little tiny like that like that see I'm just putting a tiny little amount there okay and once you've got your silicone on there, take your cover, and you squish it on there real good, and I can polish this up later when I'm done. There we go, just like that. Alright, I let the soldering iron heat up a bit. You want it to be really, really hot for this part. So what you're going to do now is you're going to solder the, uh, the cover to the pickup. So you want to heat up right here. And you want to feed the solder in to it. more than that. 
Let it flow. Okay, there's one side. Just let it flow. Let's do the other one now. I'm gonna heat up the area. You wanna apply your solder. Let it flow. There we go. And now our bear pickups are covered. It could hardly be simpler. Thank you very much for watching this very short, very simple video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Please join the Discord if you want to talk about guitar, gear, etc. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you next time. And we will install these in my Les Paul 100 in our next video. Thank you.